It's this concept of uh, morphic resonance. Have you ever heard of that concept? No. What do they Thomas call that? Edison like a like a hive mentality. Mm, yeah, right, right. right. Like that happened with the integrated circuit, mm -hmm. right? When uh, Kilby at Radio Shack was doing the same basic work, I think, that uh, Robert Noyce was doing for Intel. Mm -hmm. And one was here in Texas and the other was in California. And they had never met and they had never compared notes, but the work on the circuitry was so close that they wound up sharing the Nobel Prize. Oh, that's interesting. Super, super strange. You know, I That's don't know. That's a common thing with human beings in this concept of uh, morphic resonance. Uh, Rupert Sheldrake, he wrote about this. And the idea is, and it's based on some actual facts, too, about there's um, some real statistics about rats. Like, if you teach a rat how to run a maze in on the East Coast, a rat on the West Coast will run it faster. Why? It's like they learn the pattern somehow or another. It's very bizarre. There's, like, information that's apparently shared across species and the idea is that somehow or another they're quantumly entangled like that the entire group of these specific types of animals are quantumly entangled or it's entangled in some way that we don't understand so it's a kind of i mean i would think biological evolution might yeah. might flirt with that